Hello there, and welcome to Daniel's Infinite Playlist. And today we're gonna uh, review the album um, Main Pop Girl 2019 by Default Genders. If you don't know who Default Genders is, uh, well, it's the solo project of James Brooks, formerly from um, Elite Gymnastics. He also dated Grimes uh, uh, during a short time, but I think he broke up with her last year or something like that. But anyways, this is about the music, you know, the personal stuff. Anyways, he released this album uh, this year uh, only on Bandcamp. You can't find it on any other, you know, like music streaming websites like uh, Spotify or iTunes, you can't buy it there. And he actually gave out this album for free, like seriously. Yeah. And, and it's such a great album too, so I just feel, I don't know, I just felt kind of bad when I bought it. I mean, I still, you know, like, gave gave him $9 or something like that on Bandcamp because I felt that, well, I think he should earn something for his effort. And, well, of course, the album is not available uh, anywhere on a physical nor digital uh, format, and... Yeah, well, it's an amazing masterpiece of, in, a, in and of its, its own. Um, well, listening to this album was mostly like this. Alright, so yeah, at first I just wanted to show you guys the album art because, um, well, there's no CD or anything. So, well, here it is. I think it's designed by him. Um, I don't really know. But anyways, it's just like this very modern and fresh, um, how do you say, collage of beautiful stuff. And I think it actually reflects on how the music... Um, is you know it's very eclectic uh, filled with break beats and full of you know like 90s um, style of sounds that I just really love I'm and it's also very well right into its time as well now that we're having like a full 90s revival of both dance music genres and style uh, styles amongst uh, musicians but um, still uh, <laughs> James, I mean, default genders uh, take on all of this is fiercely original, you know, because it's not it's not very you know ravey or poppy because it, it, it everything is kind of like filtered in a shoegaze, um, you know, with a shoegaze sort of style that's just really amazing. So it's a very introspective album in that way and that the jungle beats and the breakbeat rhythms they just i don't know they they just give like the album a certain sheen and style that's just very timeless uh, i think and i really hope that he gets you know just more um reviews and attention as well because well it, it's an amazing album from start to finish and um and also, what I really like about this album is the act uh, are the actual lyrics because, I mean, at first I couldn't really hear what he sings. I mean, it's I think that's kind of the point. But you know, like a lot of the lyrics uh, just touches upon uh, different characters, and you know, uh, sometimes it can be just very dramatic, and sometimes it sounds a, a bit just a bit sinister, you know, um, with the whole uh, happy music during the background. But he also, what I do also like is also like the references, for example, to Bruce Springsteen, like that, um, you know, Bruce Springsteen's uh, song Secret Garden. Well, he, he he redid it and just made it to this huge sounding uh, rave pop anthem. And I just I think that's the album highlight. It's a really amazing song and he even mentions Bob Dylan and Beastie Boys and lots more and well it's just an amazing album from start to finish and um, well what I give the, this album well I think it gets an 8 out of 10 um, 
mostly because it's just uh, it's an album that really wants to be anonymous but it's just so fiercely original that you know I think it's quite impossible to just not uh, like this album it's great it's it's dancey it's moody it's experimental and you know, it's kind of like an amalgamation of uh, James Brooks' uh, past projects and, uh, you know, and it's really amazing. And you can see, like, his whole ethos fo uh, follows through, like, on his music and also on the way he markets his albums. You know, like, he, he just wants to be away from the spotlight and just make beautiful art. And I just really respect that. It's amazing. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, um, the link, the artist link is down below, as you said. Uh, there's no um, Spotify link or no iTunes link, only Bandcamp. So please listen to it, download it, um, do whatever, uh, and just to su support this amazing artist. Because seriously, um, I think it's incredible that... that um, that so many other music magazines have just passed on this album. But anyways, uh, well, this was the review for today. And I thank you so much for listening to it. Um, please like and subscribe if you like this. And if you want to see more uh, new album reviews. And also, don't forget to check on my classic album reviews, which always come um, on Saturdays or Sundays basically a whole weekend thing anyways um see you next time enjoy music enjoy life people vcs bye bye